Hello so uh, in this video today I want to discuss again about couplings in Abacus uh, which have been moved to constraints from version 2022 uh, because we collected some feedbacks uh, and I wanted to give some thoughts about it. So regarding this coupling, the feedback that we generally get is that as they are not sorted as elements anymore, they are not stored in component and they cannot be grouped anymore, especially they cannot be um, grouped uh, and used uh, this group for reviewing purpose, uh, which looks quite an incomplete um, statement to me because reviewing should not be the final goal. So what does reviewing or why to, should we need to review these constraints? And I guess there are a couple of reasons, reasons Reason number one being checking um, that these connections or these couplings are correctly set up with no free nodes. And there are a couple of tools in Hypermesh which you should be able to use and which should prevent you to review uh, individually or even by group your different constraints. First, and as long as you're dealing uh, with couplings for connecting purpose, uh, the reflex or the first features to look at should be connectors. Uh, so if you do go to connectors, uh, for those you're not familiar yet, you can do some point connection, which are specifically spot line, spot welds, uh, line, which could be a uh, line of welds, uh, line of glue, etc., etc. Um, if you have to do some spot lines. By the way, you can use either points or line. It's just a matter of what is uh, your input. If you have some inputs which are defined by points in CAD, then you may rely on points. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you just need to do a, a line of weight between two components with no geometry as input, then the best is to use auto line. Coming back to point, um, what you just need, if you go to connect your controls first to define your control, you can create a new control type rigid and the only thing that you need to do to have access to Kupkin is to move from uh, KinCoop from Kupkin starting version 2023. And then uh, every time you need to select you can select one point, change the connector control to this new connector control and you can hit realize. And here you have a, a coupling that have been done uh, between <coughs> the two different components. Um, so by the way, here I did it by default, so let me undo it. This was a pure example, but the latest new the latest improvement in uh, connector, they rely on parts. And if I look at this model right now in assembly part, I do not have part yet. The quickest way to get this part is to go to model browser, component, right click, create parts. And uh, now you have your parts into your model, one part, one component. Let's now have a look at fasteners. And as a starter, uh, you will need to go to Halter community in order to uh, look for a script. We uh, released a couple of days ago, Abacus FX config file. Uh, which contain the, the, the configuration for the Abacus Kupkin fasteners because um, up to version 2023, the fasteners are realized with KinCoop uh, instead. So you just need to download this FE config file and to store it into your Hypermesh starting directory, which by default should be in my documents. That done, you should be able to uh, go to your connectors, uh, connectors control, Go to fastener for instance and here I have a, sp I have a bolt spider which I will replace by bolt Kupkin spider. Uh, just make sure that the tolerance is okay. Um, the, dim the dimension in case you're dealing with uh, larger holes but otherwise it should be fine. Uh, please have a look at my two parts. Uh, blue has a hole, orange has no hole yet. If I go to fasteners uh, sorry, if I, well, if I select my connectors with item mode C, connectors, right click, realize, 
you see that not only the, co the constraint is created, but also we create on the fly a washer around this, uh, the, a, a hole and a washer for the orange plate. Uh, how the, does it come? Or where does it come? It comes from the control, because in the fastener, you have some options uh, in case what to do if uh, there's no hole, uh, bolt hole option, create hole if none. Uh, consider existing hole only, use hole if available, or fill and remesh hole if available. So here are the different options. So with the connectors you can easily create uh, these constraints. Um, even in case you need to remesh some of the parts, it's pretty simple. What you can do basically is select your connectors, unrealize, and let me pick for instance this part, the orange one and say that I want to rebuild it uh, uh, from this component. Okay, I will select a parameter file from the installation, which is crash to millimeter, apply, okay. Uh, I will also make sure that my criteria is to two millimeter. That's good, okay. And so I can rebuild. Now I have my new mesh. So I should be able to uh, go back to the connector selection, my three connectors, and I could say realize. Doing so, you can say, okay, but here's, you see the result, this is not great. So uh, we cannot use it. Okay, let me undo it. Let me go to the connector controls again, uh, because this is, Really one thing, you need to invest time at the beginning just to make sure you have the best options into the connector control. Because here, if you look at the washer, uh, there's a washer which says that the density has to be eight on every hole. What you can do instead is to say just preserve closing and you can select again your connectors, right click, realize. Okay, now it's better, but the, you see that uh, it's larger here. Okay, let's go again to connectors, controls, fasteners. And here you have another option, which is about the washer. It, it will force to create a washer, but as we do already have washer on our mesh, what we sh could be able to do here is just to uncheck it. Right click, select them again, right click, realize. And the connection is realized again without any need to make sure, without any need to connect again any node to the couplings because the connector is taking care of it. And that means you do not even need to go to um, the model check. So let me create, uh, let's say that I could delete some elements here and I could end up with so let me try to do it, elements, let me say something like this, I'm deleting these three elements. Now if I go to validate model, uh, I should be able to run my checks and to see that there are some free couplings, so couplings where there are some defects and I should be able to fix them. So here, here's the way you can proceed with uh, with checking um, your constraints, making sure they are completely connected. But again, if you're dealing with the um, the connectors, the need of reviewing, the need of checking them should be much lower because the connectors are taking care of everything. Uh, let me load the model again. What if you don't have the connectors? Um, there are two options here uh, if you don't have the connectors. The first one is, so let me delete these connectors first. So go to connectors, idle mode. The first one is you can create them easily by hand. Uh, so let me go to connectors, fastener. Again, uh, I will take the spider, uh, just let me show that the spider is currently pointing to bolt kubkin. 
And here what I just need to do is to say one node. It even not has to be on the, you do not have to create the node at the center. It will look for it. Um, it should be, it would be better for sure if you use the center, but in, in fact, it looks already, it will position automatically to, to get at the center rate. And then you can just hit realize. And it's done, and still you have the holes. So this is one way you can do it by selecting them by end. The other way, but you can do it. Let me delete just the connectors. Uh, and now delete the constraints. And that what will work only if you have holes on the two plates. If you do not have holes on the two plates, that won't work. You also need the parts. To be in the model, so create parts is to use the auto fasteners. In that case, you can select your two parts and say identify here. The connectors are automatically defined, and then you just need to go to connectors, switch to a given customer control, which is spider connector control, which is spider validate, and then you can select your three connectors. Uh, <clears throat> realize and that is done so again whether you're starting from an orphan mesh uh, that you have or do not have any input uh, you should be able to create uh, many of your couplings uh, with uh, no need of checking the connectivity and with the scenario of whether you're changing a part or whether we, you are remeshing it uh, you can update at any moment your connectors so that um, the connectivity is ensured. At the last point, let me hide my connectors. Let me uh, so including the constraints. Let's say uh, that you want to see all the constraints for a given sub selection. So here I have just a selection, but at any moment you can use a find to find, for instance, the constraints attached to a component, and then you will see. The different couplings same you should be interested for connectivity check you could say okay let's isolate this component and now let me find all the component attached to this component and you will see all the attached components so these are multiple tips and tricks you can use in order to deal easily with constraints hope that helps see you later for another video